Hey guys, I um, wanted to just make a real quick video about moon phases. Uh, I know some people are, are on top of it and they're getting it down really quick, but then there's also, I know, um, a handful of people that are still struggling. So I did want to make a short video so you can come back and watch this. Um, if you're a person that's maybe having a hard time knowing moon phases, uh, hopefully this will help you. Um, I want to show you this little device that I created last year, and it looks like this. Okay, and you actually wear this, goes on your head, right there. Okay, and from our perspective, we're standing where the sun would be. Okay, and at all times, half of the moon is lit up by the sun. Okay, except for during a lunar eclipse that happens sometimes during a full moon, which we'll learn about here later this week in class. So from our perspective on the sun, if we're standing on the sun looking at the earth, um, the moon looks the same to us. Okay, and here, here's where um, the moon phases come into play. Uh, the moon phases are created because during the moon's orbit, which takes approximately a month, it's like 29 and some change days, uh, about a month, um, different parts or different amounts of that lit up side is going to be facing the earth. So at a new moon, the lit up side's facing away from the earth. So you can't see any of it. So from Earth's perspective, that's a new moon. I'm going to put you actually in, in the driver's seat here. All right, so at that position, the lit up side's facing away from me. That's a new moon. Then as the moon goes around a little bit, a couple days later, now you get a waxing crescent. You see that little sliver on the right-hand side. Okay, and then over here on the edge, when you see half of the right-hand side, that's a first quarter moon continuing to move around. Now I'm seeing more than half, which is called a gibbous. It's still growing, so it's a waxing gibbous. Uh, at this far back point, way back here, at this point, all of the lit-up side is facing the Earth, so that's a full moon. Now as you, a couple days later, you're going to have a waning gibbous, which means more than half. Uh, it's going to be shrinking. It's on the, the left-hand side now. And then you've got a last quarter moon or a third quarter moon. And then you've got your waning crescent. And then back to your new moon. So as you see from here, they all look the same. But as the, the moon goes around the Earth, from Earth we have a different perspective of that and how much of that lit up side is actually facing us. So um, hopefully that allows you to see this a little bit better. Uh, I know that there's a lot of interactive websites that are on our uh, Canvas page for you to, to help you, um, one, learn the names of the moon phases because that's important too, uh, but also understand and get a good grasp of why we see the different phases at different points throughout the month. Um, you should be able to know, like, hey, if it's a, uh, a, a new moon, then it goes sun, moon, and then earth. So the lit up side's on the other side of, of the moon, so we can't see it. So that'd be a new moon um, and along those lines. So um, let me know if you have any questions, please. Uh, this is a concept that I think once it clicks, that light bulb will, will pop on and, and you'll be like, oh, I got it. Um, but it, it does take a little bit of work. So ask, um, make sure that you keep, keep figuring it out and uh, you'll get there. All right, bye.